And now for something completely different. A um, bit of a surprise this evening. Uh, it's my wedding anniversary, and my wife, who has never been to Europe, who is uh, from Southeast Asia, as I say, uh, prepared something that kind of surprised me. Um just based on a whim on a YouTube video that a friend recommended to her. She made Cornish pasties. A yummy treat. Um, anyone who's watched my videos knows that I kind of have a thing about proper, traditional English food. English food kind of gets a bad rap that it doesn't really deserve. It's the mass-produced modern junk, I think, that uh, gives it a bad name which, you know, <laughs> we're certainly not unfamiliar with here in Canada. Mass-produced food. But the good old traditional stuff, um, in my opinion, stacks up as well as any other cuisine in the world. Or at least any other popular cuisine. Um, I've uh, never eaten a Cornish pasty made by an Asian person before. But um, here goes. Um, <laughs> very good. You're supposed to, it's a miner's lunch, you're supposed to put it on a shovel and heat it over a fire. Um, I don't know if it's supposed to be a coal fire or whatever. I think Cornish miners are tin and copper miners anyway, not coal. But, oh, that's good. Um, Just vegetables. I think a lot of times people make it with um, lamb, I think. Just vegetables in this. I asked her already. Very good. Um, anybody could um, um, make these. They're simple, but it's one of those things I think that you need a little bit of flair to cook properly or something. Um, or to get it right. But um, I don't know. It's um, something I really like and something that I'm interested in is, um, you know, good old traditional English food. And, uh, ooh, ha, uh, this is good. No idea what an English person would make of it. I think English people and others would admit that Cornish pasty, properly made, is absolutely delicious and nothing even for a gourmet to sneer at. 